there really is no doubt that this summer coming up for Manchester United is one of the biggest we've had in a long, long time. Eric Ten Hag has to be ruthless. He has to get rid of the deadwood. He has to have a clear out. Who exactly will he get rid of, though? You would have already seen the, the keep or sell list that I have personally did myself, my opinion, but I'm really interested to know what's the overall opinion of Manchester United fans? Sky Sports have recently ran a poll with over 50,000 United fans voting, over 1.7 million collective votes on the acts list and the keep list. Who should Ten Hag keep or sell? I'm going to run through every single one in order. I think it'll be interesting to compare my list to this list, and I really want to know exactly where what United think fans think overall about this squad. So let's run through this. Before I do begin, as I always say, if you do enjoy the video by the end of it, please would you consider subscribing to United People's TV and become part of the community. would love to have you on board here. But let's run through this list, player by player, in terms of... Uh, in terms of the votes, who was voted the first player out the door to the last and in the same when it comes to the most important players to keep. Let's start. Now, the first player on the list, Nemanja Matic. That kind of surprised me a little bit, but also not massively. I think he should definitely be sold by Manchester United. That is an absolute, no, but not brainer. So he's, he's left. He's leaving. And anyway, goodbye. I thought Paul Pogba would top that list, but 94% of United fans voted for Nemanja Matic to leave. Second on that list was Paul Pogba with 91%. And I suppose maybe given that Paul Pogba, there is still a part of United's fan base that, that want him. I would say a very small segment now. But 91% of fans voted for Paul Pogba to leave. That's how strong the momentum is against him now. Phil Jones, 90.1%. Again, I, I think that's that's. I'm surprised that there's 10% of United fans that, that would still like to keep Phil Jones at the club, in my opinion. I'm really kind of surprised at that. Phil Jones, that story's got to be closed, man. We've got to move on from Phil Jones. How long has he been here? Way too long. Juan Mata, nearly 90% of United fans who voted wanted Juan Mata to leave as well. None of these names are top of the list, so I suppose will surprise you. Matic is leaving on a free, Pob is leaving on a free, uh, and Mata is leaving on a free. Andreas Pereira there, above Jesse Lingard, eh? I suppose it's an interesting one to think of. 87% of United fans want to see Andreas Pereira leaving the club. I'm one of those 87%. I don't really want to see him come back in. Pre-season Perlo, we've had that conversation before. There's not really much point in having another conversation about Pereira, is there? I don't think so anyway. Now this one, shocking, really. I, For the life of me, I want to know the 13.5% of fans that, that didn't put Glazers top of that list. No, sorry, that voted to keep the Glazers. Are you mad? 13% of United? Nah, that, that's not a fair reflection. Well, it better not be, because I'm definitely not one of those 13%. I will tell you that for free. Anthony Martial, 86% there of United fans voting for Anthony Martial to leave the club this summer. That is overwhelming. That's the opinion. As I said, this is... this. Might not be a fair reflection of the entire United fan base, but this is a poll. Over 50,000 United fans voted for it. So I think it's a bit of a fair, uh, it's a fair enough reflection to have a conversation about. And nearly 90% of fans want Anthony Martial sold. That goes to show the momentum that's against him. Edinson Cavani. Look, even more fans want Martial to leave than Cavani. And that's a little bit of a surprise, I suppose, because Cavani should absolutely be leaving the club. Um, I mean, he is leaving anyone on a free transfer, but... More people want Martial to leave than, than Cavani. Oh, only just there. Only very, very slight. Who's next on the list? Jesse Lingard. 82% of United fans wanting Jesse Lingard to leave the club. Again, I'm part of that 82%. Jesse Lingard, done and dusted. Simple as that. But it's interesting to see how this list develops, right? Harry Maguire. Now, you kind of knew that he was going to be on that sell list. I've, well, I've spoken in depth. In depth about Harry Maguire, haven't I? And whether or not I think he should be sold by the club. I think he absolutely should be sold by the club. And 75% of United fans, you agree with me. 25%, you want Harry Maguire to stay. Now, I personally think he probably will stay next year. I don't know whether he'll be captain or not. Ralph Rannick was talking about how captains in the teams that he used to manage in Germany used to be elected by the squad. Do you really think that that squad would elect Harry Maguire to be captain next season under Ten Hag? I very much doubt it, but 25% of United fans think that he should be staying. And 72% of United fans want Eric Bailly to leave or be axed, however you want to call it. I think that's... Yeah, I think that... Look, 
we've been linked with Pal Torres. It's kind of separate to the Bayi situation. Maybe that can be involved. I might do a video on Torres. Good for the first half against Liverpool, but you have to consider they did play in a low block. Anyway, separate point. Eric Bayi, a man who came with such promise and talent. Injuries, injuries, injuries. It's kind of, you can put him in the Phil Jones category. A player who was brought with so much promise, but it just simply hasn't been able to live up to it because the injuries have just curtailed any sort of progress he's had. And Aaron Wan-Bissaka there, 65% of United fans wanting Aaron Wan-Bissaka to be sold by Manchester United. What do you take? What do you think about that? Imagine that, right? We spent 130 million on Harry Maguire and Aaron Wan-Bissaka, and 75% of United fans want Maguire to be sold, and 65% of United fans want Wan-Bissaka to be sold. Now, I would say that's definitely two transfers that have not worked out. Brandon Williams is down there as well. 40, only 47% of United fans want to keep him. 52% of United fans want, want, want Brandon Williams to be sold. Brandon Williams has done well on loan at Norwich. I think that's a bit that's a little bit harsh. Maybe that's more to do with the fact that we haven't watched him in that long and it's just the idea of a completely fresh start. I feel that's a little bit harsh on Brandon Williams, but again, it's kind of a sign of the times. That, uh, at fullback, for sure, United need to improve massively. And I don't particularly think that what we've got at the moment is anywhere near good enough. Who's down on the bottom of this list? Let's have a look. Victor Lindelof. 52% of United fans would like to see Victor Lindelof sold by the club. Now, you can let me know what you think about that. That might come as a surprise to some people, might not come as a surprise to others. Victor Lindelof, since he's been in, I think he's been a quietly decent defender pretty much his whole time. Sloppy, absolutely guilty of issues and problems, just like our whole defense has. I would probably disagree with that one. I think I'd like to see Lindelof kept at the club. I think I'd like to see Brandon Williams kept at the club. That's just my opinion. Probably the only two, really, that I've disagreed with so far. Diogo Delo down there on the sell list as well. 51% of United fans would like to see Delo sold. I don't think we can realistically get rid of wan Saka and Delo in the same summer and expect to have any sort of right back. So I would probably agree with wan Saka and I would say Delo at the very least give him one more season, if not for only for the regeneration and then sign a right back the year after. I don't think it's possible to get all that done in one summer. And look, that's the, that's the complete list there. So let's scroll back up here. There it is in full. Nemanja Matic topping the list. The first player that United fans want to see sold, followed by Pogba Jones, Mata Pereira and the Glazers. That's weird. That's very weird. Why is that? How 13.5% United fans voting? There? Yeah, yeah, keep the Glazers. They're great for the club. No, they're not. Martial there, Cavani, Lingard, Maguire, Bay, Wambasaka, Brandt. That's huge. How many is that? Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I can't remember. I can't count. It's a lot of players to be getting rid of. But what, what do you do? You agree with that list? That that's the axing list. Where would you put it? Would you put Pogba is more important to leave than Matic? Does it really matter? I suppose. But the conversation one are really down there towards the bottom. The idea of Wan Bissaka, of Bai, of Williams, of Lindelof, and Delo, the ones who can sort of split opinion. I disagree with Delo, Lindelof, and Williams, and I wouldn't really argue to defend any of the others. Yeah, that's, that's just my opinion. Eh? You can disagree with that, as I'm sure you, <laughs> no doubt, will. But look, let's head over here now and let's take a look at the keep list because we've run through that. And I think what importantly here to understand is not only about the, the Axe list and, and who United fans want to be sold, but who's top of that list. Which ones are the, are the players that are causing debate, the ones that are more towards 50-50 and which just the overwhelming support for them to be sold and kept. Let's run through this. Now, who do you think is going to be top of the keep list? Jaden Sancho, with 93% of United fans wanting to keep Jaden Sancho. Of course, I'm one of those 93%. I might have thought that Bruno Fernandes would be higher than, than Jaden Sancho. But if we're looking at players we can genuinely build a squad around in a few years' time, players you can say with utter confidence they're going to be here in three years' time, Jaden Sancho probably does top that list. And second, you might not be surprised there, Bruno Fernandes. But 10% of United fans didn't vote to keep him. That 10% is probably just a consequence of what's happened this season. Anybody who is remembering Bruno Fernandes, which is 90%, who can remember what he's done to the club since he came in. And he might not have been able to do it all himself, but he dragged us off the floor, man. And I do genuinely think with a really top-level coach in Eric Ten Hag that he can go on to become an even better player at United. Who's third on that list? Let's not go the wrong way. Let's go down. Not up the list. Anthony Elanga with 90%. Now, that's definitely down to how well Elanga has done this season. Of course it is. 
wasn't here last season. Elanga deserves to be on that list, deserves to be considered a key component of the future. And I suppose that's what these players at the top of this list are. The players who fans really think, you know what? We can build a squad around these players. Go down here and David De Gea. 88% of United fans are voting to keep David De Gea. Now, I do think that's the right thing to do this summer, but I will probably say hand on heart, I don't see David De Gea being Manchester United's goalkeeper in, in two years' time. That's that's what I, that's what I feel. I feel like the Ten Hag. Look, the thing I find so strange about De Gea, right? I swear, I don't know whether it's me being deluded, but I swear I remember De Gea's distribution at the start. He may have been shaky with his confidence and coming for corners and all those flappy mistakes he used to make, but I swear his distribution used to be very good at the start, almost like it's been coached out of him. I don't know. Maybe he can find that again. But he's came from Spain, of course. They they're all about possession based football, and goalkeepers are sort of. They're playmakers from deep now, aren't they? Certainly that's what happens at Man City. But nearly 90% of fans think De Gea will be here and get kept. My, res my judgment's a bit reserved on that one. Rafael Varane, 85% of United fans would like to keep Varane. I'm, of course, agreeing with that. And I hope that next season we see more of the Champions League Varane that we thought we'd sign. I don't think we've seen that enough. Injuries haven't helped him. I don't think his performances have been incredible, but we've been massively disjointed and it's reflected in how Varane has played for United, I think, anyway. Hannibal Medjbury, 80% of United fans thinking we should keep Hannibal Medjbury. But yeah, as I said, it's very interesting, the the shape of this list. The the, the players that that some fa that fans, as I said, over 50,000 fans voted for to keep and to build a squad around, effectively. Hannibal Medjbury, who's hardly played a minute, really, for the first team is above quite a lot of first-team regulars. Donny van der Beek, 75% of United fans want to keep Donny. I want to keep Donny for next season because I'm in my head, I'm saying, what if? What if Eric Ten Hag... What if Eric Ten Hag can turn him into that player who literally got a top-20 finish for the Ballon d'Or in 2018-19? I'm looking forward to seeing what Donny can do. Maybe it won't work out, but let's find out. Scott McTominay. I'm surprised that one doesn't split opinion a bit more, given the way that United fans talk about Scott McTominay. See, I would agree here. I'm completely in the green. I think Scott McTominay should be kept. I also think that Scott McTominay should be a squad midfielder. When we sign midfielders, that will happen. But 75% think that Scott McTominay should be kept at the club. Luke Shaw, again? No, maybe not. About 30 United fans. Luke Shaw... It's, it's, <laughs> is one that massively divides opinion, debate, no matter what you want. To, I don't know how you want to call it, really. But his output last season was dreadful. Season before, good. But still, if you're looking at goals and assists, did he contribute enough? Is he really being the modern-day left-back that we need? My judgment's reserved on Luke Shaw. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple of years' time he's not our left-back and we, move, we do move on. Alvaro Fernandez will hopefully be asking... All that opportunity. Ahmad Diallo, 66% United, of United fans want to see him kept. We can't really get rid of him, not until we've properly given him a chance in the team. We need a right winger. Let's see what happens with Facunda Palistri and Ahmad Diallo under Eric Ten Hag in preseason. Maybe at the start of the year as well. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's what I mean about the shape of this list. More, people, more United fans voted to keep McTominay and Shaw and Van der Beek and Medjbury than they did Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, were you surprised about that? I suppose not so much because all season long, there's been a bit of a debate. Is Ronaldo part of the problem? X, Y, Z. I, I think that's a bit unfair. Is Ronaldo, if you if you had played him in this City team this year, Ronaldo would have absolutely scored like 30, 40 goals. He would have been the crown jewel in their, in their team. He's coming to a just disjointed United team. He's still scoring goals. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do next year to build around him. I think he's definitely playing for a year here at least and see what happens after there. But I suppose in a, in a few years' time, Ronaldo won't be here, right? But nearly, nearly, look at that. And Fred, Fred is below McTominay. He's below, wow. That, this is what I mean. This is why this list is very interesting. More fans voted to keep McTominay and Van Der Beek than they did Fred. I think that's completely wrong. I would definitely put Fred quite high up that list, probably towards the top six. Maybe after Varane is where I would probably put Fred there. In terms of, no, I would probably arguably you could put him in front of Varane. Fred's going to be a very, very good midfielder under Eric Ten Hag. That I'm absolutely convinced, as long as we keep using him in the right way. 
Dean Henderson down there with 60% of the votes to be kept. Fair enough. Dean Henderson, I don't think he will be here next season. I think he'll probably force a loan move. And after him signing the new deal and then not getting the chance to be our first team goalkeeper, I don't think really think there's a chance he stays next year. That's just my opinion, what my gut is telling me. Marcus Rashford. Wow. This is what I mean. It's a very interesting list. Down there, nearly 44% of United fans voted for Marcus Rashford to be sold. That's how bad his season has been, eh? Last year, even when he was playing with injuries, Marcus Rashford was still one of our best players in a season where we finished second. Of course, he dropped an absolute stinker in the Europa League final, but so did everybody else, really. Ultimately, we lost. I think that's a bit harsh. I think Rashford will definitely be one of those players that returns to form under Eric Ten Hag. I'm not convinced about it, but I think he's one of the most likely, in my opinion. So I'm surprised that he's that far down there. And I'm also surprised there that more people want to keep Alex Tellez than sell Alex Tellez, who, in my opinion, has been nothing short of a huge disappointment. Yes, he went through a period of, I think it was just after Randick came in when he was started playing Delo and Ten Hag, Delo and um, Tellez. The best thing Tellez did was get Shaw to play great. And that's not really the measure of a good signing, in my opinion, anyway. I'm surprised that he's not on the sell list. And look, that is that is the complete list there. So let's run, let's run that down there. So if we were to go back over here and we were to look at that sell list, you've got Matic, Pogba, Jones, Mata, Pereira, the Glazers with Martial, Cavani, Lingard, Maguire, Bai, Wambasaka, Brandon Williams, Lindelof, and Delo. And on the keep list from fans, you've got Jaden Sancho topping that list. Bruno Fernandes, Ilanga, De Gea, Varane, Medjbri, Van Der Beek, Matomane, Shaw, Diala, Ronaldo, Dean Henderson, Fred, Rashford, and Tellez. Now, are there, are there any that you disagree with? I definitely disagree with Tellez. I disagree with how far down Rashford is. I disagree with Fred being that far down. Ronaldo, I'm not too surprised about. I am probably disagree with how far up Luke Shaw is. Most of it I agree with. Here, I would probably disagree with Lindelof being on there, Delo being on there, and Williams being on there. The rest I wouldn't really disagree with. But you'll remember, of course, that I've already done my keep or sell list. It'll be interesting now. I want to take a quick look at what I said, because this is what I said down here. Axel Tuanzebi wasn't even on that list. Martial have got to be sold. Lingard to be sold. Pogba, Lee Grant, well, he wasn't even on that list. Um, Maguire, wan Phil Jones, Mata, Cavani, Pereira. Overwhelming majority agree with me. On the edge, who did I have that? I suppose we have Ronaldo on the edge. It's just, it, I found it very, very interesting to run through these two lists. So you can let me know what you think about it in the comments. Because as I said, this is the axe list and this is the keep list. We've ran through it in each position. I want you to let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Do you agree? I suppose this keep list is effectively showing up. It might only be a smaller sample size. There's millions of United fans around the world. But are these the players that we're going to be building our team around in the future? Sancho, Fernandez, Elanga, De Gea, Varane, Medjbri, Van Der Beek. Are, are they the sort of the core players from this current squad who will survive the next few years? You can let me know what you think in the comments below. I've already done my opinion video on it. And I wanted to do this one because I think this is the fans' opinion. And I think it's important to take a look at both, as I always do here on United People's TV. It's not, not just about my opinion. It's about you in the comments. So please let me know what you think about these lists in the comments below. Which do you agree with? Which do you disagree with? And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new in town. I'll see you soon.